project execution from the piping design course organized by the International Institute for Plant Engineering and Design, INIPET. The slides we are going to show have been prepared by Mr. Rutger Bottermans, director of INIPET, and both author and instructor of Module 1. The voiceover is performed by Dr. Javier Blasco, director of INIPET, an associate professor at the University of Zaragoza, Spain. There is a great variety of industrial plants. However, the plants can be conveniently classified into two main groups. First, process plants, and second, power plants, depending on whether the plants are transforming substances or are generating electricity. In this slide, we show the schematic block diagram of a refinery, one type of process plant. We can see that, in order to produce all the substances shown at the right, the plant has to include many different units, each performing a specialized function in the overall process. The next two slides show uh, two photographs of petrochemical plants. These pictures can give us an idea of the complexity of the factories. Next, we're going to introduce the concept of life cycle of a project. The life cycle of a project refers to all the phases that have to be carried out in order to eventually be able to build, picture on the right, what the customer has ordered, picture on the right. This is the schematic diagram shown previously. The phases of an industrial uh, project are, first, we start with a front-end engineering design, FEED. Here, the process and project engineers perform some estimates about the process, material and energy balances, as well as the economics of the plant. Then, the phase two is the basic engineering. The engineers here figure out the size and main parameters of the main equipment. As a result, a general arrangement of the plant can be performed. A schedule and cost estimates are generated. Phase three of the uh, project is detail design. A 3D model of the plant is produced here. Nowadays, this is carried out with powerful software tools that are able to integrate all the information of the project, such as drawings, list of materials, schedule, costs, etc. The next two uh, final phases are buying all the materials, which is called procurement, and building the plant, uh, which is called construction. It is important to note that after constructing the plant, there is some important work to be done regarding testing, commissioning, and handover. The next slide shows the hierarchy of a typical project. At the top of the organization, we can see the client and the project manager. The piping design is located under the engineering manager, here it's engineering manager, and design engineer, engineering. In the present module, we will describe in detail the main aspects of a classic project execution, that is the disciplines, the methodology, including teamwork, something about document control, reviews, scheduling, costs, quality assurance. This is the end of the review of Module 1 Project Execution from the Piping Design course organized by the International Institute for Plant Engineering and Design, INIPET. For more information, please visit the website of the Institute, www.inipet.com. Thank you for your attention.